You are welcome to today's chemistry lecture. In today's lesson, I'll be introducing the subject called chemistry. So in the course of today's class, I'll be explaining the introductory aspects to chemistry. So the first question we have to ask ourselves here is what is chemistry? So chemistry is simply the study of the composition, properties, uses, and structure of matter. So you can see from what I said, I said chemistry is simply the study of the composition, okay, properties, uses and structure of matter. So chemistry is simply the study of the CPUs of matter. And what does C mean? C means composition. P means properties. U means uses. And S here means structure of matter. So chemistry is simply the study of the composition properties, uses, and structure of matter. So you can see here, I am talking about this word called matter. So the question we have to ask ourselves, what do we call matter? Now, it must be noted that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Matter is anything that has mass and occupy space. Now, if I don't say that, I can simply say matter is anything that has density. So matter is anything that has density. So the question will now be, why am I saying matter is anything that has density? Now, let's quickly go back to the first definition I gave for matter, which is matter is anything that has mass and occupy space. Now you can see here is mass and you can see here is occupy space. As somebody or a particular substance is occupying space, that person is occupying what we call volume. So I am saying here that matter is anything that has mass and occupy space. This space here, the person or the substance is occupying is what we call volume. And according to science or physics, there is a formula in physics that says density relates mass and volume. So the formula for solving density is simply mass over volume. And you can see from the first definition I gave for matter, I said matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And that space the person or the substance is occupying is what we call volume. So I can now relate the relationship between mass and volume is density. That is why I said matter is anything that has density. So this must be noted. Recall, I said chemistry has to do with the study of the composition, properties, uses, and structure of matter. So we are talking about matter where I said that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. I can simply say matter is anything that has density from the relationship between mass and occupy space, which is volume. So the relationship between mass and volume is what we call density. So let's quickly talk about matter proper. Now let's quickly talk about the word called matter. You know, recall I said matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And also I said, if you don't say that, you simply say matter is anything that has density. And you can see from my explanation, this is mass and this is occupied space. And that space, that particular substance is occupying is what we call volume. So the relationship between mass and volume is what we call density. Now, let's quickly move over to the next term we'll be explaining. So the next of them here is what we call states of matter and forms of matter. Now, these two words are actually different. States of matter are different from forms of matter. So the question will now be, what are the states of matter? It must be noted that we have seven states of matter. So the seven states of matter is divided into two because we have three major states and we have four minor states. We have three major states and we have four minor states. So the question will now be, what are the major states of matter? Now, they are of three. 
And the first of them is what we call solid. Okay, after solid, we have what we call liquid. And after liquid, we have the last called gases. So we have three major states of matter where we have four minor states of matter. So what are the minor states of matter? You can see there are four. And the first of them is what we call plasma. After plasma, we have what we call both Einstein condensate. Okay, all of these are the uh, all of these are the minor states of matter. Plasma, the first of them. After that, we have what we call Bose Einstein condensate. We have what we call Fermi ionic condensate. Fermi ionic condensate, and the last of the minor state of matter is what we call quarks gluon condensate. Okay, all of these are the minor states of matter, whereby all of these listed here are the major states of matter. So in the course of today's class, I'll be explaining the states of matter, but most importantly, the major state of matter, which is solid, liquid, and gases. Meanwhile, for the minor state, we have four. And recall, I said, states of matter is quite different from forms of matter. Now, moving over to the next term, which I call forms of matter. Now, we have two forms of matter. And what is the first one? It is called mixture. And the other form of matter is called substances. Yes. Okay? We have two forms of matter, which are mixtures and substances. But to be specific, pure substances because substances are pure whereby mixtures are impure okay there are more to this though now it must be noted that mixtures are of two types we have homogeneous mixture and we have heterogeneous mixture okay homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture well for Pure substances, it is divided into two, and what are they? The first of the breakdown here is elements, while the other is called compounds. So I believe now you understand the overview of what we've been saying since. Recall, I said chemistry has to do with the study of the composition, properties, uses, and structure of matter. After that, I said that matter is anything that has mass, and occupy space. Or if you don't say that, you simply say matter is anything that has density. You can see from my explanation I gave previously. After that, we went further to talk about matter proper, where I said we have seven states of matter, whereby three are the major state and four are the minor state. The major state of matter is simply solid, liquid, and gas, while for the minor state is simply plasma, both Einstein condensate, fermionic condensate, and quarks gluon condensate, while for the forms of matter, is divided into mixtures and pure substances. For mixtures, there are two, which is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. And for the pure substances, there are two, which is elements and compounds. Now, for under this mixture, homogeneous mixture means a mixture with a uniform composition. Well, heterogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is not uniform. Though there are more to this. So, in my next chemistry lecture, we'll talk about all of these states of matter. I'll focus on the forms of matter proper. I hope to see you in the next chemistry lecture. My name is Bright Edo, and thanks for watching.